The word love is the Greek word agape. This is what I call high-level love, for there is no higher, no finer, or more excellent love than agape love. Now listen to this. The word agape is filled with such deep emotion and meaning. It's one of the most difficult words to translate in the New Testament. Agape occurs when an individual sees, recognizes, understands, or appreciates the value of an object or a person, causing the viewer to behold the object or person in such great esteem, awe, admiration, wonder, and sincere appreciation. Such great respect is awakened in the heart of the observer for the object or person that he is beholding, that he is compelled to love it. This is what agape is. He is compelled to love it. In fact, his love for that person or object is so strong it is irresistible. And the greatest example of agape in the New Testament is John 3.16, where the Bible says, For God so loved, that's the word agape, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But God so loved, God so loved the world. And listen to my commentary. This means when God looked upon the human race, he stood in awe of mankind. Even though man was lost in sin, God admired man. God wondered at man. He held mankind in the highest appreciation. Even though mankind was held captive to Satan at that moment, God looked upon the world and saw his own image in that man. The human race was so precious to God, and he loved man so deeply that his heart was stirred to reach out to do something to save him. This love drove him to action. You see, agape is a love that loves so profoundly that it knows no limits, no boundaries. It knows no limitations of how wide, far, high, and deep it will go to show love to its recipient. Agape will even sacrifice itself for the sake of the object or person that it deeply cherishes. It is the highest form of love, a self-sacrificial type of love that moves the lover to action. And listen to this one final word. Agape has no strings attached. It isn't looking for what it can get, but for what it can give. How about you? Do you have that kind of love operating in your life? Its awe of the one who is loved is so deep that it's compelled to shower love upon that object or person regardless of the response. This is the profound love God has for the human race. For he loved man when man was still lost in sin with no ability to love him back. God simply loved mankind without any thought or expectation of receiving love in return. And when you love with such a pure love that you expect nothing back in return, it's impossible for you to feel hurt down or disappointed. You don't love them for the purpose of getting something in return. You shower them with love simply because you love them. This is what the word agape is. It's what I call high-level love, the highest, finest kind of love. Now, the reason people get disappointed in relationships is because this is not the kind of love they have. They have phileo love which is friendship love, which basically means I'll scratch your back, but I'm expecting you to scratch mine. Well, if you scratch theirs, but you don't get a scratch back, hey, you just got disappointed. But when you're in agape love, there's no disappointments because there's no strings attached. You just love to love, and that means you're in charge of your love and you're never disappointed by the recipient's response. This is the highest, finest kind of love, and it's the first fruit of the Spirit, which is listed in Galatians 5, verse 22. And as I close today, just ask yourself, Lord, what kind of love am I moving in? Am I moving in low-level love, and is that why I get disappointed all the time? If your answer is yes, maybe God is calling you to move